Shit, man, we on here with your girl, Cole, man. We got the homie, man. We got my homie that tapped in with me live from H-Town, but we in Denver, man. We downtown. We got the homie, man. I know y'all know the platform. Y'all done seen them doing numbers, putting niggas interviews, videos, all kind of shit. But my how many is in the motherfucking back streets, man. Let everybody know who you is, where you from, and what you got coming, if you don't mind. Yes, sir, man. My how many. Um... I'd say we're the biggest blog in Denver. We okay. Got, yeah, yeah. I mean, we got, you know, a bunch of little little things going on. But, um, yeah, I mean, I'm from the north metro area of Denver, you could say. But I've lived all over. Like, you know, lived in Denver right off of, uh, like, 13th and High. Okay. Um, Arcata, Thorin, Wheat Ridge, Westminster, everywhere. So, really, just, I'd say, like, the north part of Denver. Being in Denver, your whole life, man, why is it... I, you know, me being from Texas, why you guys have never had like a big major music artist ever break from Denver? I feel like we're slept on for sure. I okay. Like when people come here, they just expect us to be like a weed city. Weed, going skiing, you know what I'm saying? Just doing like normal like mountain shit, you know right. what I'm saying? Um, that and also like where we at in the country, we're not right next to like a LA or right next to like a New York, or, you know, y'all even got shit going on down in Texas. Mm -hmm. um, so we don't got any like major like labels. But y'all by Cali? No? That's yeah, no, we, we, I feel like we uh, we tapped in with Cali, but okay. we don't got no major labels out here or anything I like feel that. you, feel you. Like what's some orders that like, you know, we could, I know you had shot at somebody else out the other day was putting them on in Texas, but like what are some major orders from Denver that you know that's buzzing and niggas like sleeping on right now? AP. Okay, they call, they call them AP. Okay, I heard them. Definitely AP. Um, FBP Mo. Okay. Crazy doing numbers. He's about to start getting M's here real soon. Mm. Um, there's so many. I can so keep many. Pack Savvy just dropped some crazy okay. shit yesterday. Pumped okay. Figure. Okay. Never How did you get into uh, doing interviews and like getting behind the camera instead of being in front of the camera? Um. Well, I was watching like all these platforms, you know. First off, I was selling vintage gear, so I've always been like flipping clothes from thrift stores and stuff. So okay. I'd be like selling gear to like famous rappers and shit. I got a couple videos on the channel, you know, mm -hmm. like Lil Mosey and uh, mm -hmm. you know, Thousand Band Fonny, to name a couple. But just you know, what I'm saying I'm selling clothes, looking at little clothes, and then I was like listening to like the Denver and like the Colorado music, I'm like, damn, we got some like heat out here. I never even like knew we had good like rap music out here. But I was like, damn, like we got some good music out right. here. But there's no one like, you know what I'm saying, popping off or anything. Okay. So it was like the Denver, I guess the radio station as far as hip hop, was they playing I guess some of the hometown artists or no? K S one seven five, they play like Trev Rich, um, Rachel Bailey and like Kayla Ray. Outside of M3, they might have someone on there every once in a while, but not too much, you know what I'm saying? Okay. I'd say, um, maybe I'll be hearing them on the radio. I feel it. that you being behind the scenes, how hard you think it is for these artists to break, being from Colorado? He said, it's, it's hard because, like, like, we ain't got no major labels out here. So like, you know what I'm saying? Do y'all decide, you know, like Texas, we with the independent route, do y'all like, fuck, we gonna do this shit independent or? Yeah, yeah, I mean, we definitely got artists doing that, you know what I'm saying? FBP's whole click, you know, they're going crazy with that. Um, Savvy and Polo going crazy, I know. AP is kind of with like Trev Rich and them, but they, and they, I'd say they more uh, on the mainstream, uh, I guess you could say in Denver at least. I so, I mean, like, yeah, we, we, we definitely getting something going in the underground for sure. You know, I'm I trying to do it. some shit like that, too. I feel that this Denver, the, the whole Colorado, do you guys have, like, a sound that's your your, your own, or is it yeah. influenced from everybody else? I say we have our own sound. You know what I'm saying? You just got to, like, listen to it, like, how people say Denver mm -hmm. and shit like that. You know, like, you like you can hear the way I say it, and then you go listen to someone else from Denver, you're going to hear, like, how they say it. you be like, okay, like, they have that sound, like, wax. Trev Rich, AP, like they all got this sound, but it's heavily influenced by like, I'd say California and Detroit, I would say, because we're right in the middle. I just, somebody just said that you guys are very Cali influenced, like a lot of the gangs and shit migrated in here. Oh yeah. Like that's, I guess that's big, so I get a lot of artists sounding like West Coast. I guess yeah, sounding yeah. like they from California, because I had made that mistake. They was like, nah, we just influenced by dudes from Cali that's doing their thing. Yeah, so who yeah. was you listening to coming up as far as music wise? Out here? Just period. 
of um, my favorite Who artist all favorite? time, Future. Okay, we I'm get really, along. Yeah, I really fuck with like the Atlanta scene. Heavy, okay. Um, Young Thug, just everyone going on out there. I also, growing up, I listened to a lot of, you know, my Tupac, Biggie, all like, you know, like the mainstream. Hey, everybody, yeah. But right. I would say like Future, I'm really, really in the future and like the Atlanta scene. Yeah, yeah for sure, sure. Um, Fuck with the Texas scene, but that's kind of came more recent, I'd say, within the past like year or so. You been heavy in the Texas scene. Yeah. Who are some of the artists like you just? You I know you did interviews with some of our big artists out there now, but I'm yeah, just yeah. let you tell it to the streets. Who are some of the artists in Texas that you just fuck it with? Um, right now, Murder Game, PB, Ego Hard. All right, four um, word. Yeah, yo. Uh, I fuck with uh, Rizzo, Rizzo, and shout Rizzo, out Rizzo. Rizzo. That's the mouth nigga, yeah, man, yeah. for shit show. I, go, I fuck with them hard. Um, show TSF, okay? Sauce, yeah, Sauce, the whole TSF. Who else? Um, I've been listening a lot more Trap Boy Freddy. I was kind of sleep on him at first. Okay. But recently, I've been listening to him a little bit more. I feel like what made you just uh, you say you got on a Texas sound more recent. What made you say fuck it up and start tapping in with these Texas artists? Um. I think uh, a lot of Texas artists be coming up here for shows, mm -hmm. so you know what I'm saying. I started doing interviews with them whenever they came up here, and then like I just noticed um, before I went down to Texas recently, like y'all were like fifth on our top cities. Mm -hmm. You know, I think it's like Denver, or Colorado Springs, Phoenix, and then mm -hmm. Dallas. It's probably higher now since I went, but um, as far as people tap Houston, the yeah, Texas tapping it with y'all. Yeah, yeah. Ah, that's dope. Yeah, so it was like. Oh, so that's really where you need to be. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, okay, I'm a Cowboys fan, so I was like, oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Cowboys fans, what what are you guys gonna do? The Nuggets? Are y'all gonna win it all? Are y'all going to the next round? What's the play? Man, I don't know. We took a big ass L against Clippers the other night. I want them to. Uh, I'm also I, I fuck with the Lakers. Okay. Too, but, oh, so you uh, think the Lakers gonna be used? Yeah, I think they will. I know they they lost last night, but I think they'll come back. They lost last night, man. Yeah. The whole brand, man, it's on YouTube, man. You've been doing your thing. Like, do you remember your first interview? The first artist you sat down with? Young Fiji. Okay. What's the relationship with you and him? Y'all you know, still cool? Yeah. Yeah. It's, for life, like that's my dog, you know what I'm saying? Um, we uh, he I actually like how I linked over him. I was at a show in Boulder, uh, I bought tickets to uh, from like some local artists that was in the area, okay. And uh, you know, I go to the show in Boulder and Fiji's performing, and I'm like, you know, it's just another Colorado show, I ain't really, you know what I'm saying? Right. I just came to support the homies, but then I hear this walk, walk. You could hit the dough. And I was okay. like, hey, okay, yeah. I was like, damn, okay, that's catchy. And then I, I go up to him, like, hey, bro, what's your sound? I need to tap in, you know what I'm saying? Tap in with him. And I'm like, damn, this will actually go hard. And he was one of the first artists I really like listened to out here. And I was like, oh, we actually got good music out mm -hmm. here. So then just, you know, I hooked him up with some free vintage gear. And then man, uh, that's the big, man. Yeah, the wow, man, it, man, that's big, man. Yeah. Your first interview, and since then you ain't looked back. I know you said you was working with others, man. But just what's the hardest part about just being behind the scenes, sitting down with artists, putting together content? Um, I mean, you got to put yourself in a lot of you know tricky situations. I would say situations where it's like you just gotta, you know what I'm saying, do what you love at the end of the day, and not care what other people think. Mm -hmm. and, um deal with the hate you gotta be able to deal with the hate and like people you know the naysayers that don't believe in you or they feel some type of way um for man, sure. show. There's, there's a lot of things but i mean overall it's, it's cool you know what i'm saying okay like, could you drop some advice to the artist man i would say don't stop posting i'd say that's like one of the number one things if you just keep posting if someone sees your logo 14 times they gonna remember that you know man. what i'm saying they might not like you they might love you i say nine out of ten people gonna love you you're gonna get one out of ten people that's gonna hate you but regardless if they see your shit 14 times they're gonna talk about it they're gonna talk to the other people about it they're gonna you know what i'm saying they're gonna mm -hmm. keep seeing you. um and just hustle you know what i'm saying and, and be respectful and don't burn bridges, you know. I what feel don't burn bridges, just stand yeah. right there, don't. Man, what's one mistake you see a lot of these artists make? Not just in Denver, just period, because I know you go everywhere. Yeah, what's yeah. one mistake you see a lot of artists make? They they burn the bridges with, uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, the people who are pushing them and helping trying to, you know, break them and make them bigger, you know what I'm saying? Shout out Sean Cotton, you know what I'm saying? Shout Obviously. out Sean, Chica, man, yeah. Cheese, man, the goat, <laughs> man, for sure. Yeah. Where do you see the platform going in the next five years? Man. No, we we do a lot of different things. We definitely are uh, gonna keep going with the interviews. I say that's our bread and butter. Um, could keep doing shows. We've done a couple shows, so we might do some more shows. 
Um, I don't know. There's a lot of things, you know what I'm saying? It could be a label. I'm man, a lot of shit in the work. So. Okay, man, a lot of shit in the work, man. Yeah. What was it like for you coming up in Denver? Like, just fear growing up, like... Yeah, like, just, like, when I was younger? Like, coming up, yeah. Man, I, I mean, like, I grew up on Section 8, you know what I'm saying? So, like, I mean, there was times, like, you know, police always at the door, you know, I had times where I used to have to, you know what I'm saying? Um, there was a lot of shit, you know what I'm saying? Dealing with, like, you know, just my mom being around for the most part. Mm. Dad wasn't really there. Um, it's everyday yeah. life, man. Yeah, shit for shit yeah, show, yeah. man. Just, you know, like... The, the average, you know, like regular story for someone coming up out of like a hood or like a section eight, like off the mm -hmm. of people don't right, I feel that. Yeah. How big how big we see this shit on TV on the internet everywhere, but how big is the marijuana scene down here? It's huge. I mean, I'd say that really like helped pop us off. Like oh, you know what I'm saying? I, yeah. Yeah, like before the marijuana came here, the the music was like you know what I'm saying? Like there was definitely people making music. But right. I wasn't even tapped in, like I know I was younger too, but like, Right, right. You know what I'm saying? It didn't really seem like there was too much going on. But as soon as the marijuana came out here, everyone started coming out here to travel and do a hell of shit and like hella shows. And like, I don't know. I mean, all of a sudden, like artists start coming out making real good music and people start paying attention. So uh, it helped like the overall economy, the real estate, mm. the prices out here. It's just up now. Yeah, yeah. It's crazy because how was it back then? It wasn't as, was it as booming? Like what was Denver known for? Let me, I guess, so to speak, besides the... Just mountains back then, really. Just the, okay. Shit, like, mountains, you know. but it's like marijuana is the new gold rush. Yeah, marijuana is the new gold rush. Like the real estate. Man, That's for real. Crazy. For real, for real. Man, do you get a lot of flag? Like we was talking earlier before we started, like being a blogger, being behind the camera, like oh, yeah. with a lot of artists that, you know, feel like, man, fuck my high man and <laughs> fuck back streets with Cole. You know how it is, being yeah, in this yeah, shit. Yeah. Do you get a lot of that or do you get more positive love and positive energy than anything? I would say it's mostly positive. I say it's like. 90% positive, you know, people showing love because this ain't really been done out here too much before. Now there's tons of blogs starting to come up out here. Was well, you one of the first or the first or? I'd say we the first like real consistent one. I, okay. There, there were other people who have done interviews mm -hmm. here and there in the past and I've watched them. But like they maybe did like three, four interviews. And it's not just like the numbers you got yeah, and the yeah. fan base, okay. But yeah, overall, like I say, we the first like real consistent like on the interviews, on like the Instagram promotion and like the overall like media platform. Like. I swear if you tag Denver rappers to just something with y'all with Denver, your platform will come up and that's some huge oh, yeah. shit. It's like artists Definitely. really tapping in and shit. Cause I just did an interview with one artist and they feel like we don't have a, they feel like they don't have enough of y'all out here like doing, yeah, yeah, exactly. fucking with the artists. Like I said, you can't reach everybody. It's impossible yeah, yeah, and shit definitely. like that. But it is what it is, man. Cloud chasing is a big thing. I guess in this era, in this generation, man, you done seen what happened with Takashi 6 9 Do you feel artists have to do that? To get on? Nah, fuck no. Hell no. I mean, like, if you really want to make it easy and do it the easy route, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead, cloud chase. You know, do what you got to do. But I don't think that's the only way. Shit, I believe in doing it the right way. You know, hmm. with your Big hustle, fact. with your consistency, and pushing out quality work. And it's more about bringing people together instead of. All that extra beef shit. Man, all that extra bullshit, yeah, man. Man, I appreciate you for taking time out your day. You was out there getting that bread, man. But let everybody know where they can tap in with you, follow you, and all that good shit. My Hot Minute on uh, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all that. Brain Sailor on everything. And that's really it, you know what I'm saying? Man, shout I appreciate out, you. Shout out Backstreets with Coke. Oh, man, I appreciate that for shit. Sure. I ain't even had to actually drop it. He just showed a little bit. I hope this ain't my last time meeting, sitting down with you and this shit.